Hi everybody, welcome to Reality Buzz TV. So look, you guys, pila besenge tini olal. Natili, ay itin ala zenjum kos, ala zenjum kos. Instead of praying before I sleep, it itin ala zum kos. Natai ni abuga la pako magza guys. Listen, magza is a platform that you can subscribe to if you want to get all of your magazines, newspapers, everything in one place. You pay for like one subscription once a month and then you get your magazines everything everything so i was just reading the uh about musam selik because i came across this article ne? this is back in 2020 when he uh, was starting to host Nawit and was trying to convince us but he knows so much about this thing and at the time this is a convince but this guy knows what he's doing now we're like hey if only we knew but he was winging it <laughs> because now i realize umselego says whatever works for him at that time he will say it so if you if you hold on to his words uzosala wedo because next day if those words don't work for him we are change or show something else so I want to read something here that is interesting that I said. By the way, you guys, if all review years, I was so exhausted yesterday. There was no way that I couldn't, uh, I could do a review live. Because I'm under here. I wonder my I can't hang with my own life. <laughs> Sometimes I think I'm a superwoman until she's not around. Then I know what she actually is the superwoman in my life. It's not me. So I can't you guys if full review if you have any energy if yeah it requires me to have a certain level of energy but yes and so in the life and it's gonna be fun I'm sorry about that so um now you guys okay and and I remember at the time there was a lot of backlash about why is it doing what and um it and even his wives were against the idea of him hosting the show. Okay. So he was asked uh, quite a lot of questions in this article, you guys, and maybe some of them are to other videos because he says interesting uh, things about uh is table but keep in mind this was in 2020 so he might be saying something that contradicts this now in 2024 so because here he says he says that uh the person at the helm of it all it's a man it is a man's role to create a peaceful happy home he says, while some no's are permanent, meaning the woman, a woman can say no and it can be, that's it. <laughs> Others make it possible for a conversation to grow about the possibility of it happening. So and a woman can say no, other women can be like, no, maybe in the future, do this and then maybe we can have a conversation. Creating this safe space and not rushing it allows for an open discussion and an opportunity for a man to lay down his reasons respectfully so basically he's saying it's a good idea to not rush it okay but what do they do they ask you now when they want an answer now this is something Musa has done in his personal life his wives need to give consent before he can go ahead and seek a new wife <laughs> what are we seeing now? Ne? Because back in 2020, he was still asking his wives, Uguti, he wanted to take number five. And he was basically saying that he cannot take another wife unless his wives are saying yes to him taking another wife. Now it has changed. It does not matter. Abaham, Abaham, Bayo, it does not matter what they say. You know. So if you are a man that held on to these words at the in 2020 when you were saying, listen, your wife has to say yes. And then you're like, now, since 2020, when you are waiting for your wife to say yes, you know, he's changed now. He says, nah, no, now you can take whether or now. <laughs> if you want the same, take it simple. 
okay you need to make sure your wife is comfortable uh, so that you don't create a hostile situation from the word go because that will mean that's how it's always going to be hmm? he says the wife must give consent and you must make sure that they're comfortable and make sure that you don't create a hostile situation while you are creating a stem but Jenna is going to do it over there in time well that is if the story is number five is true because i told you guys i don't believe any of that thing okay uh musa agrees that his term is not for everyone the character of a man is more important than money guys i think the money is more important i don't care what umselego says you guys if umselego could not afford or could, did not look like he can afford his team. Because at this point, like right now, I feel like he's support of his wives. Because the wives are also doing the show. So they're also making money from the show. They're also making money from their jobs. So, you know, the, my finance is very, it's not just him in the family. But I feel like even back then, maybe he did have a little bit of money. Because if he didn't have, how is a man going to pay Lobolo if he doesn't have money? How is a man going to provide homes for his wives? So I really don't understand why he would even say that well, it's not about money it is absolutely about money in fact money is number one before anything else but he says you yeah, know no, it's a character of a man more than money however money obviously helps uh, a man manage his team like a man he has a family responsibility that needs to be taken care of it's true that you need money but more importantly if you're not a good manager of the family it will break down uh be it a monogamous or polygamous structure there are uh there are other fundamental issues that need to be considered too as a man if you can't be patient <laughs> and respectful or if you want to use your financial power over a woman <laughs> listen to what he's saying here hey you can if you can't be patient and respectful okay we've been seeing him being opposite of all of that if you want to use your financial power what did he do to my Ma just now just this episode because he was talking about how my has been served by everybody and and <laughs> it won't work then i'll leave you with your money but if you don't use these re, uh, resources to manipulate them they'll see the two men in you don't manipulate them with your resources that's what he was saying in 2020. <laughs> I... <laughs> Musa admits that his experience in polygamy is a hard conversation to have with his wife. That's why men hide it because when women find out, they become angry. But this isn't the case with him. I love that God brought this revelation against me. Um, revelation to me. <laughs> I was 23 years old and I've been honest about it. It can never be said that it was through my wisdom. God chose me. There's so much, uh, there's, uh, there's so much my wives have done to make it work. So when you pick wives, you don't know if they'll get along. You can only hope. Hosting on my way to call have strained this relationship. He revealed he's already had to allocate certain days to see his four wives and their respective families, and his uh, first and his wives first had to give him the nod before he could commit to the show getting the family to approve wasn't difficult they are happy um the best part is that family is still structured in fact they are also eager to know how i go about presenting them as a family when i'm on tv they give feedback and help me to consider certain aspects of whatever situation i might be faced with at the time uh, so remember, uh, so he said he may be uh, co uh, converted by many women, but the spotlight hasn't changed him, he says. 
I'm the one who has to pursue. I'll stay true to that. I wouldn't want to be pursued. Remember, it was a time when he was looking for number five and there were women that were offering themselves uh, to him. He even had some dinner where people had to pay and to apply to be number five uh, back then. Guys, listen, it's amazing how much he has just changed things. The way that he spoke about his temple back then was so different from the way that he speaks about his temple now. And it's all, I think he's being changed by, okay, now he's famous. And I don't know if Uguba is celebrity now that makes him do, is it different? Or even at the time, the things that he was saying, he did not believe in those things himself. He was just saying them because he knew that there was the things that sounded good to say in uh, as a man in his position because it's so different now. The way that he is handling his, his table, well, at least on the show, because that's what we see. We don't see the other stuff. What we see on the show is so different from the way that he sees it when he talks about the the, the wives have to um say yes you can never move forward if the wives are not saying yes they have to be comfortable you have to you can't use money to manipulate your wife and have power over them all of those things you know they sounded right back then that's why <laughs> there's a viewer that said what's well, back then they were even convinced themselves that they want this table after they watched I'm sitting with his temple psyche. Even me, I was like, I can never get on his temple, but I can see how it might work for other people. But he has actually managed to move us from feeling like that in his temple to feeling like, hell no, these people are all miserable. Nobody is happy here. They look like if you gave them a choice to run out of this <laughs> union, they could. So, Angel, guys, I said, Angel, it's it's a zen one. Kwaku no Angel, and you can't go see. Yeah, in that type of people, But now it's like, ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, who is happy here? <laughs> anyway, guys, when it is seven, Jane, I perform your lal. This one born sister.